Welcome students to Lesson 4 of Arts 8 4th Quarter, East Asian Theater. East Asian theater is a form of performance art and storytelling that stretches back centuries and has its roots in traditional East Asian culture. East Asian theater is unique in its style of performance, its use of physical movements, and its use of language to convey meaning. Asian theater is still popular today and is seen in traditional and contemporary performances. Traditional forms such as kabuki, no and Peking Opera are still performed in East Asian countries. Now get your pen and paper and let's discover the five East Asian theaters. Peking Opera Peking Opera, known today as the Beijing Opera, is an embodiment of stage performance in China. The Peking Opera integrates elements of song, dialogue, dance, and martial arts in its performances. In Peking Opera, singing is performed to showcase the different kinds of tones which intensifies the appeal of the opera. Dialogues complement the song and highlight the musical and rhythmic sensations. Some of the dances require special skills from the performers. Martial arts are also included to provide a harmony of Chinese combat exercises and dances. The Oriental Opera is the largest Peking opera and it has been staged in more than 160 years. It has pioneered many facets of Chinese drama such as the rich repertoire, the large number of performers, the creation of opera troops, and the increase in spectatorship. The music of the Oriental Opera involves guttural sounds and high-pitched vocals. The musical accompaniment to these vocals comes from instruments and other strings and percussion instruments. Typically, composing a Peking Opera cast are the Sheng, or the male character, the Dan, or the female character, the Jing, or the painted face male role, and the Chu or the clown. These actors use ostentatious and exaggerated makeup, costumes, and gestures to highlight their performances. Except the Dan, all the characters portray male or masculine characters. Two kinds of makeup is applied by the performers in this opera, which are mask and facial painting. There is also a special technique that involves the frequent on-stage change of mask called the changing faces that the audience barely notices. Kabuki Kabuki is a form of classical theater that evolved in Japan in the early 17th century. The kabuki term used to suggest a rather unorthodox and shocking character behind this form of theater art. In modern Japan, the kabuki is composed of three characters, the ka or the song, the bu or the dance, and the ki or the skills. Kabuki is characterized by the rhythm of the lines spoken by the actors, the extravagant costumes, the flamboyant makeup or the kamaduri, and the use of mechanical devices to achieve special effects of stage. The makeup accentuates the personalities and moods of the characters. Most kabuki performances draw on medieval or themes during the Edo period, and the actors, even those playing female roles, are men. These actors have passed on traditions of kabuki from one generation to the next, with only a few minor changes. One aspect that helped kabuki survive and be preserved with few changes is close lineage of the performers. The descendants of older kabuki performers can trace their ancestry and performing styles to the previous generations. 
the later generations attach a generation number after their names as indication of their lineage in a long line of kabuki actors. Another theatrical form of Japan is the no. No is Japan's oldest form of musical theater. The story is told not just through dialogue but also through other forms such as yutai, singing, hayashi or musical accompaniment, and mai or dance. The no involves the use of slow movements, poetic language, monotonous tones, and rich and heavy costumes. Narratives are based on Japanese legends, history, literature, and contemporary events. These often draw inspiration from fantasy themes such as dreams, supernatural worlds, ghosts, and spirits. All the characters in a no are all played by male performers. The characters played are the following. The leading character or shite. Depending on the play, the shite may act as a holy old man, a deity, a demon, a spirit, or a living man. His movements express various moods. Second character we have is the supporting actor or the waki. The waki plays roles such as a priest, monk, or samurai. In contrast to the shite, the waki always portrays living people. Hayashi, or the musicians. Four musicians provide accompaniment for the performance with a flute, shoulder drum, hip drum, and stick drum. Jutai is the chorus. The chorus sits to the left of the stage and assists the shite in the narration of the story. The last one is koken or the stage attendants. Dressed in black, the stage attendants are not part of the play but assist the performers in various ways, such as handing them props. One feature of no is that the leading actor dressed in a colorful costume of embroidered silk, usually wears a lacquered wooden mask. The mask can depict characters such as an old man, a young or old woman, a divine figure, a ghost, and a young boy. The audience is also given a sense of what character is being portrayed through the mask. Kyogen the Kyogen is a type of classical Japanese comic theater performed with highly stylized actions and lines. It is staged between no performances or as a comic relief from more solemn or serious acts of no, although it is now sometimes performed in its own right. Unlike no performers, Kyogen performers do not typically wear masks. Kyogen also tends to attract commoners, whereas the no is popular among the elite. Bunraku So Bunraku, the Japanese puppet theater, which became popular at the end of the 16th century, is a kind of puppet theater. Bunraku is performed to the accompaniment of narrative singing and music played on the shamisen, or three-stringed instrument. The Monraco is known as one of the world's most refined forms of puppet theater. That ends our topic about East Asian theater. I hope you gain a better understanding of the culture and history of the region. East Asian theater has been around for centuries and has a unique style that is distinct from other forms of theater. Through this video, I hope you gain insights into the values, beliefs, and customs of the people who have created and continue to create it and appreciate the artistry and creativity of the region and its people. East Asian theater provides a unique form of entertainment that is often overlooked. East Asian theater provides cultural experience that is both entertaining and educational. 
It is a way to learn about history and culture of East Asia and to gain insight into the lives of the people from this region. Additionally, East Asian theater can be a great way to understanding the world around us. Finally, East Asian theater can provide a unique form of entertainment that is both entertaining and thought-provoking. And that is it for today. Which East Asian traditional theatrical form are you most interested in? Comment below!